ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I started boxing at the age of eight years old because my older brother, he was a, I watched him, he was an amateur boxer. And I just wanted, basically wanted to be like my older brother. I seen him in the gym. And you know, yeah, I, I, he was a role model to me. So I started boxing because of my older brother, Junior Dutch over. And honestly, probably whenever I started to win a national tournament so as an amateur, because first um, I started out boxing and I, was, I won my first like seven fights and I was like seven and all. I was like, oh, you know, I'm undefeated as a young amateur. And then I got my first loss and I was very discouraged. And so, I was just, but, and then I just kept working hard and then I got my next win and then I started developing victories. And once I won my first national, I was like, man, I, this is a talent and I actually like it and kept me out of trouble. It was, it was a good hobby for me because my first sport was football and boxing kept me in shape for it. And I just, I fell in love with boxing and left every other sport except for track and cross country. I still do that. Boxing has done a lot for me. I've learned a lot. Uh, you know, just I grew up in the sport and I learned learned a lot from the sport, and that I mean that's all I can say really is it's a it was a gift and God uh, God's gift to me and I'm just trying to keep developing my skills. Midland, Texas. I grew I was born and raised in Midland, Texas. Middle they call it the middle of nowhere because I'm like four hours from El Paso and four four and a half five hours from Dallas, right in the middle by the Panhandle and. It's just, it's, it's a small town, but you know, I'm a, come from a small town with big dreams. I won over eight national titles. I've won uh, national pals, I believe three times. I, w I got a bronze in the Junior Olympics. And my biggest accomplishment was getting a, a silver at the Olympic trials qualifiers. And that was in, I believe, uh, I don't know, it was, Sometime in my amateur career, I forgot where it was at, but I had uh, quite a bit of amateur experience. I had over 130 fights, and I had 115, I think something, victories, and I don't know how many losses that commutes to. <laughs> oh, always, always humbling. I'll never forget where where I came from, and you know, I was, I got the opportunity to come train over here and develop my skills with my trainer and manager, Danny Zamora here in Santa Fe Springs and I think it was just just a blessing, blessing from God to to come here and you know he's he's guiding me to the to the path to glory and I want to be a world champion one day and I feel like this is where I need to be to become a world champion. That's right. I have a problem with this guy. I tell him to throw a punch, you touch and he always hits me. TKO twice. The very first pro that gave me the confidence and Actually, right here in this gym, he, he put put me on the mat for my first time. I was about 17 years old. I got my first professional sparring. It was with this guy right here my, from Barranquilla, Colombia, uh, Darley Perez, and he's my training mate. You know, I, I love I live with him right now. We're in training camp, and he's getting ready to fight on the Crawford undercard. And you know, I'm really excited to watch him fight. And you know, he's a role model to me too. I have so many great role models I look up to, and this is one of them, one of the very first guys and I've, I'm still learning from him. I met Michael when he was 15 years old at the Junior Olympic Nationals. And then um, I seen him again, I had a guy fighting in Texas, and we went through a mutual friend, it was Bobby Lee, introduces um, like, hey, this is Daniel Zamora, Michael Dutchover, and Michael was like, hey, I wanna go train, I wanna go train in California with you, I wanna go to Los Angeles. I was like, all right, you know, talk to your parents, let me know, this was his junior year, finishing his junior year. I brought him, a t brought, him home, brought him to here at Santa Fe Springs. And at that time, Darley Perez, who was sitting right here, was getting ready to defend his title against Anthony Crowola. So I put him a spar with, with Darley. I said, all right, we're gonna see what this, what this kid's about. They sparred two rounds like an amateur. He came out hard on Darley, started throwing hard. Darley settled him down, threw him a body shot, and he went down. He got up and the kid kept on going. We asked him, that's it? No, nope, I want to finish the rounds. And the trainer that had trained um, Darley, his um, profe, we call him uh, Orlando Pineda, has 18, 18 world champions and has had 18 world champions from Colombia. And he tells me, Danny, 
sign this kid now, take away his plane ticket, keep him here. I said, no, he's gotta go home and finish high school. He graduated. The day he graduated, the next day he called me and said, I'm flying over here. And that's, a, that's Michael's story. That's how he ended up here and how I knew he was a real deal. Uh, really uh, making the move over here, but I knew that was the investment I had to make because this is, I'm in, I'm in LA, you know, this is the, this is the hot spot, the mecca of boxing. And over the years, since my pro debut, I'm, I've already, I've developed a lot and I'm not the same fighter as I was in my first fight. I'm not the same fighter that I was in my last fight. I'm just, I keep developing my skills, working hard, staying humble, staying in the gym, and training hard, and I think those are the keys to success. And, um, I think he's gonna be a world champion. He's going at the right path. He's a hardworking kid and real respectful. So that's the main thing, he's humble. It was a dream come true just to uh, sign with a promoter that I knew that would look after me and take care of me. You know, and I'm signed also with uh, Banner Promotions. It's a co-promotional deal with Thompson and Banner. And you know, it was just, once I signed that contract and I signed that same day I turned pro and it was just, it was a surreal experience. Now I'm 9-0, and you know, getting close to the 10-0 and mark and developing my career. And I like the way it's coming out right now. Oh, very proud. I mean, I'm a proud of all of my fighters. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, yes, we're here to win a world championship, but I also want to make sure they grow up to be young. I mean, they're young men now, but just to be a great role model in our, in our community and just um, give back to the community where they came from. I'm defending my world title. That's what I believe and, you know, I see in my future. And especially from five years from now, I, I believe that that's what people would be saying around the Twitter sphere and Instagram and, and repost and everything.